Alright, so welcome back everyone. Welcome back to Kerbal Space Program, the hardest career series. Today's episode we're going to be running 48 passengers and our three crew to the desert airfield. That's just to the west. There's a waypoint just there. Then we'll be swapping the passengers over and then heading straight back to KSC. 728.4 kilometers in a straight line at least. Right, so this is the first time we're going to be doing an actual commercial flight with this new aircraft. It does have a cargo section at the back as well. The two engines are from B9 Aerospace, the TFE731. Nice, nice and powerful, which it needs to be. So this is the Coeing 64A, called 64 because it uh, can carry up to 64 passengers. We're only carrying 40, as I've said already. A quick look in the passenger compartment before we set off. Take a look around. Nice IVAs. Now the cockpit I'm using is the C2B Horizon. Unfortunately it did not, as standard, have an IVA. It does now, because I've added one. So we'll take a quick look there. Does have raster prop fitted to it as well, all installed. We are wobbling a little bit on our undercarriage for some reason, I don't know why that is. So that raster prop. Normally, as I said, the Horizon C2B does not have. It's from Cable Aircraft Expansion is. If you're wondering. There's resources. There we go. It's got a vessel viewer. Okay, so it's quite a long journey, so let's get started shall we. Okay, begin the turn to 225. We're going to follow the uh, coastline. We'll be flying over the head of Kerbin City. Of course, at night you won't be able to see much. Although the city lights should be long. Okay, almost at our cruising altitude as well. Once we have, we will be serving duty free. So fill your boots. Okay, just over flying Kerbin City. 
And as well as it being dark, it's also quite overcast with cloud. Just make up the main airport runways. Okay, so we're we'll coming to the desert airfield. Okay, so on course for the desert airfield. For just over 47 minutes and 15 seconds. So you can see it's quite cloudy. Otherwise we could have seen a little bit more of Kerbin City. Oh well, never mind. Okay, so I'm going to have to uh, add some additional food and water and oxygen, some light support supplies basically. Shouldn't be a problem for this particular return trip though. I think of course we're landing intact. Nice and gentle. Okay, so while the patches are rotating, we can. Yeah, that's fine. We've got about 30 seconds. Not as a race, there's no actual hook re at all. Just have to make sure you're ready to uh, take off. Yeah, 333 oxygen doesn't last 40 passages very long. And we do use it even when we're non stood on the runway. So that doesn't help either, including oxygen as well, which I didn't realise. Okay. Let's fill it with fuel. What do we do it when out of his fuel? Well, this is what the cockpit itself, the Horizon C2, but as I said, I've already added the IVA with Vastapop monitor myself. So that's my own IVA, customised IVA from Airplane Plus. But these cabins do not have any life support. They don't have life support storage anywhere. Which is a bit of a uh, nuisance. Okay. Turn the SES off for now. It's going to take off from the other end of the runway, from this end, from the northern end, because I want to head uh, south. So over the sea before we start making any sort of manoeuvres towards the uh, Cable Space Centre.
Right, so at our at cruising altitude of 5,000 metres, just over. Heading on 135 in a moment, as soon as we cross the coastline. Once we are substantially south of 90, the 90 degree line towards KSC directly, I will then turn to 90 degrees to head towards KSC. I'm going to use the autopilot to land at KSC because it is quite dark and there are no lights. We don't have an ILS, but it is facing the 90. We have to go around, so coming from the west, which is 270. So that's why I've got this loaded up. Otherwise, we have to climb to 6,000 meters, and this aircraft would probably stall at not much above the altitude. And you have to climb quite steeply because you have to try and avoid the mountains to the west of KSC. And in the dark, I don't like the idea of doing that manually. So, we're going to fly with the autopilot. Okay, that's the initial turn to 135, 5,000 metres. I'm going to accelerate to about 200 metres a second. It's about Mach 0.6. I'm going to go for about, I'll say about two miles or so. At this heading, then head 90 and accelerate to 240 metres per second on Mach 0.75. It takes about 40 minutes to get back to KSC, estimated. Still seems a little bit... A little bit patchy in cloud. It's not too bad though. Okay, I'm not too far away from KSC's runway, so I'm pushing the fuel from the centre tank back into the wings. Brings the centre of mass back a little bit, makes it a little bit easier to land. Alright. So KSC is just over here. Okay, so I've cleaned this to land. Obviously, it's the uh, <coughs> wrong way. Like I said already earlier on, not to get over these, you need to climb over these mountains if you come from the desert airfield. But in the dark, I didn't want to transfer, uh, so I'll try and take the uh, the risk of coming over those or around them. All right, so on final approach, gear should be going down. Any moment now.
Okay, nice soft touchdown. Okay. Okay, I need to park just over here. Going to stop near the terminal. Okay, that's it. So it ticked. Okay, just need to recover all 40 passengers. That'll be the end of the contract. Okay, so fully recovered the aircraft. I'm going to actually, I've, I've chosen to recover it because uh, I could have stored it in here and it would be available for the next flight without actually having to uh, wait for it to be built. But it needs to be modified so it can carry more than uh, 48 passes more than an hour. Because we almost run out of life support supplies. Okay, so. That's the contract. Got a lot of money for that. Flight 124, crew 3, passengers 48. It's capable of 64, like I said. Snack served 50. Ooh. Somebody had double helpings. Hey, sickness bags used at three. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not surprised. So, KC Airlines thanks you for flying the friendly skies. Two hundred and eighty-eight thousand for that uh, return trip. One size and one reputation gives us one million five hundred eighty-six thousand five hundred eighty-nine. Um. About 30% reputation now. And that around 99.5 science. Which will come in very handy. Okay, so that's the first actual commercial flight of the Coing 64A. So it needs to be modified as I've already said. So that's the thing I'm going to do right now. As soon as I finish recording this episode. And put some more life support in. Alright, so that's in this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to click like. It's appreciated. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for this season. I'm going through right now and in the future. Don't forget you also have Discord, Twitter and Facebook. You'll find a link to all three of those platforms on the banner on the front page of the channel. And if you want to leave a comment or a question, you are more than welcome to do so. Alright, so hope to see you in the next episode. In the meantime, as always, take care. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.